Hey guys, welcome back to the Snag and Breakdown. My name's Orlando, and this is where we talk about the issues that we find in our videos. Right then, the Snag and Breakdown, let's go. Hey guys, back again, and these wet lemons haven't connected the ducting to the extraction pan, letting all the moisture blow into the loft. We've so they need to connect that ducting with the mechanical fix in, and jobs are good. We've got an excessive amount of cracking to the concrete floor in this kitchen. The so you will get some cracking um, to the concrete floors on a new build, um, but the amount that they had was quite excessive. So I'll, I told the client, monitor it, keep an eye on it, and um, if it gets worse, let the developer know. This fence post has been installed massively out of plumb. I'd say it's about one plumb out of plumb. One plumb out of plumb? Um, what in the winkles? So they need to plumb her up then, don't they? Spanner is going on here. This garden gate has been installed massively out of square. Whoa, look at that. So they need to bring that um, right hand side gate post forward to where I'm filming. Look at this. How has that been missed? Or why has it been left even? Shocking. Ideally, we should have a 75 mil gap between the ground and the air bricks. And you can see the air brick there. It's in the center right at the bottom. We should have a 75 mil gap between the bottom of the air brick and the topsoil or the the turf so they're gonna have to lower the ground level basically that's unfortunate 25 mil gap between the ground and the air bricks and just look at this so we've got two stone sills that have been butted up to each other there should be this a is mortar shocking joint. and to make it look like there's a mortar joint they've painted a bit of mortar along there's no joint there, there's no mortar in that joint it just looks like it there is because they've painted it with mortar so they need to remove them and cut them down so that there's enough gap for a mortar joint and watch out the wood butcher's about what in the yeehaw are you doing so they're gonna fill it um and they need to just make it look good the decorator he's the guy who's gonna sort it out no one else hey guys back again and the winkle spanners are at it again more fake weep vents look at this so how do you fix fake weep vents everyone keeps asking so you would need to fully dig out the weep hole all the way back to the cavity tray and install a full weep vent. So why didn't they just do that then and there? Because they're really lazy and they don't care. This isolator switch is completely loose. New isolator switch by the looks of it. That looked to be broken and damaged. Shocking. This internal wall is 22 millimeters out of plumb. The tolerance is eight millimeters. Jesus. This is an extremely tricky one, okay? The bottom of that wall needs to come out that much right that's gonna make it overhang the stairs the string of the stairs so this could be a knock the wall down job and that the top of that wall needs to go in we've got massive chips to this pedestal simple this pedestal needs to be replaced now who's the absolute yeehaw putting gold screws in all the i i absolutely hate this so they're putting gold screws in silver ironmongery I mean, isn't that obvious? Anyway, they need to change them to silver screws. And look at this, the wood butcher's at it again. So that would need to be filled, repainted. Ideally, you would want to change the door line in, but they're not gonna do that. Who's the winkle spanner that signed off this gas meter box? Why does this earth bond need to be five million miles long? Why does it need to be five million miles long though? Jesus, look at that. Long? We got some kinky pipe work under this toilet. Look at this. So they just need to straighten up this pipe work so it's not kinked. That's ridiculous. How could, how could you be happy handing that over? This door reveal is 15 millimeters out of plumb. The top Jesus, this video. So how they would fix that is the top of the reveal needs to be plastered and plasterboarded. They'll feather it out, it's called. The top of this door is damaged. How did nobody notice that? So that will probably get repaired. They should replace the door, really. This door doesn't close, and you would think it would close after the beavers have been chewing up the lining. Look at this. Ideally, they need to change that lining. Um, you might be able to repair it. It depends on what it looks like once it's been painted, to be honest. It's back again, starting off. We've got fixings missing along the canopy upstands. And so they need to put the fixings in, and they need to put the fixing covers in. Check this out. It's completely loose. We've got no fixings into the gallows bracket. So we need to have screws go through the bottom of the gallows brackets into the top of that canopy. Easily done. The gallows brackets. In this loft, we've got a Durgo valve missing to the SVP. Install a Durgo valve. Simple. 
So the whole loft absolutely stinks of everything coming out the drains. Disgusting. Here we can see the developers left all the rubbish for the client to clean up under the unit. Obviously, Shocking. this just needs and cleaning. How can you hand over a property with the cast stone sills left in this state? It's absolutely shocking. The corner of this one is damaged, More cleaning. So that's going to require professional repair. So what they will do is they will repair this stone sill. We've got an absolutely shocking finish to the brickwork above this How window. could we ha be with that? They need to clean it, clean those joints up. Shocking. Window. The bottom riser at this property is covered in mould. The developer needs to clean it off and investigate the cause. And why am I seeing excess glue on the stairs on a handed over property? You're so lazy. You that is so lazy though. They need to remove all this excess glue. What if the client didn't want carpets and they wanted to just paint the stairs? And you're handing it over like that. That's ridiculous. Okay guys, well that's all the videos we got to look at today. Hopefully that helped explain them a bit better. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it, comment below, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time on the Snagging Breakdown. Peace. Hey guys, Bel- Belcom. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs>